Hello and welcome to a video dedicated to CELTA teacher trainers. Uh, with me, my name is Fergus Faden and I'm a CELTA trainer currently living in Sao Paulo in Brazil and training on a CELTA course here at the moment. So this video is going to de uh, deal with uh, teaching reading skills um, and what is primarily involved in that. Okay, so why do we read? First question we need to consider, why do we read? Well, essentially, we read for information, right? We read emails, we read newspapers, we read websites, we read journals. Also, we read for pleasure, isn't that true? So we read novels, we read magazines, we read, sh we read short stories. Now, of course, this is a non-exhaustive list. There are many, many types of text to read. But when we consider, first of all, our feelings when we're reading here, these different types of text, whether it's for pleasure or information, we can also then consider that in some ways we read in a slightly different way when we um, read these different types of texts. So, how do we read? Well, let's look at some reading purposes and strategies. So. On the left side here I have two types of text. Instructions for installing a computer software and another one here, uh, a short story. So clearly the instructions for computer software, this is the reason for reading here is clearly for information and our short story is clearly for pleasure. Now I'm going to introduce two new terms here, skimming and scanning. These are common terms in, on the CELTA course and uh, in general throughout um, academia related to reading skills. So skimming, you have to imagine a stone skimming underwater. It's not really getting down deep into it, it's just getting a, a, a flavor for what the water is like. There's no uh, in-depthness. So we can say you're skimming just to get a gist or a feel for the, um, for the text. And we can scan. Imagine your eyes like the scanner is on a computer. Okay, so you're really paying attention to detail now, reading every word. And we can, we can, if we consider the way that we read ourselves, we can see this in, in play when we skim uh, through a magazine and then maybe skim through an article to find out if it's interesting. Or, like in the example here, we're looking at instructions and you're looking in great detail, scanning for information. So, uh, reading in a second language, how does all of this uh, touch uh, on d developing reading skills with our students? Well, first of all, we need to ask the question, how can we help a learner decode new information? Well, we can help, help them activate schemata. What is schemata? Schemata is all of the information that you know about a topic already and that can help you orient yourself within a text. For example, you open a newspaper and you see a a picture of uh, Obama. Straight away you know um, American president, uh, politics, uh, etc. Two ideas that ca came to mind already and then by developing this schemata, by asking questions to our student, we can help kind of warm their brain up and help to orient, orient their thinking before they read. We can do this in other ways, like generating interest. Have you heard the story about, etc., etc.? We can use visuals, so showing the picture of Obama, etc. We can brainstorm, uh, give a central idea, and ask all students for their ideas and putting them up on the board. Another point which I've forgotten to put here, we can ask students to predict. So, for example, look at the headline of an article and predict what was going to come. For example, when you saw this heading here, you could have made some predictions about the content that I would cover here. We can also help students by pre-teaching vocab. Principally we teach blocking items. What are blocking items? Blocking items are basically vocabulary that we can reasonably expect that students at whatever level, so if they're elementary, pre-intermediate, intermediate, etc., that they won't be able to find the meaning of these words from the context and it will in inhibit their path through the text. So we have to remove those blocking items by pre-teaching. Um, we can ask students to work together. So again, 
involving lots of interactions, pairs and groups, sharing ideas, checking in pairs after they've read for, for gist, checking in pairs again after they've read for specific information, before uh, checking the answers with the whole group. Um, by this sharing of ideas and referring to the text, it can help promote peer learning as well, so that you don't become the, the sole purveyor of knowledge. Uh, also jigsaw reading, so one student reads one part of a text, the other student reads another part of a text, but they don't read all of the text, so they need to come together to work together to answer the questions. And finally, staging a reading lesson. So first of all, we need to have a lead-in. That's where we generate interest and activate schemata. You can use visuals, questionnaires, conversation, and all of the other ideas we spoke about. And we ask the students to skim. This is so that they read for gist, get a general idea of the lesson. Then it's common that after that they'll read for more detail by scanning, finding specific information. After that, it's a nice idea to let students react to the text. What did they feel and think about it? In this way, they can personalize the experience some more and make the learning uh, or skills development more meaningful and useful for them. Um, we could also maybe develop a further sub-skill, which is inferring meaning from the text. So some more vocabulary that maybe it wasn't a blocking item, but you could expect was new for the student. You can prepare some questions. Look in paragraph three, find a word that means blah, blah, blah. This will help them develop their confidence and their ability to uh, infer meaning from the context, which is an extremely useful sub-skill for any uh, learner of any language who hopes to become more autonomous. And finally, ITA, if time allows, correction slot from their speaking. So if they did a conversation here, maybe you'd like to take some notes and give them some feedback on the end. Okay, um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, like I said, my name is Fergus Fadden. I, I have my certificate and diploma in English language teaching. You can find out more information about me here on facebook.com forward slash Fergus teacher. Uh, you can also contact me more directly on email at Fergus teacher at gmail.com. And you can also contact me on Skype at Fergus teacher. All of that information will be uh, below this video. Thanks for watching.